Hello everybody. I hope you're all well today. Um, I'm absolutely fine and I'm getting better every day with this uh, cough I've had. Mr M has turned a corner as well, so we're both a lot better than we were. The reason I wanted to talk to you today was, um, I don't know if any of you have watched Big Brother Australia. Um, I just wanted to give you a bit of a a bit of a, a review, you might say, on it. It was filmed just before lockdown in 2020, the one I've been watching. And it's a bit of a different setup to the old Big Brother of this time. Now, I don't know whether you, any of you watched it, Big Brother be lots of you in England but in Australia it's gosh it's so competitive you don't know who you can trust they all have to do their um their challenges and they get their votes to um whoever wins the challenges get a vote to choose which couple or three people go out for eviction and um it's absolutely well the backstabbing and the mistrust and but it's really good I've really enjoyed it and the next day or so it's down to the last four at the moment and they're battling it out um, to be the final three and that final three will go towards the vote of the public but I really recommend it it's been really interesting how um They've all been together, really. What you think is your friend isn't your friend. And it was interesting as well because they didn't know what was going on in the outside world. And um, all the camera crew suddenly disappeared one day. And one of the camera crew had been in contact with somebody that had COVID. Of course, at that time... It was shocking, really. You know, you didn't know whether it was going to be really bad. And I think in Australia, they were the, the last ones to kind of experience what we experienced. So one day, all the cameras go missing and they don't know what's going on. And they all get they get, they get told to sit down and say that there's a, a pandemic and it's come to Australia. And everything is in lockdown. And they were in two minds about whether to carry on with the show. But in the end, they do. They carry on with the show. And um, none of them know what they're going out to, which is incredible, really. That's the whole point of Big Brother, isn't it? That you're in this space together and um, you don't know what's going on in the outside world. So I just thought I'd recommend it to you because it's been really good. I've really enjoyed it. And some of the characters and um, the way they go about things. I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd just let you know what I've been watching. And it's a little bit addictive, actually. It's a bit like... Love Island. I have watched Love Island. <laughs> I have enjoyed Love Island, actually. I I did. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed how people interact with each other and um, what they do to survive. It's incredible, really. Trust no one in uh, the Big Brother house. Trust no one at all. And I uh, watched Love Island Australia as well, which was interesting. And um, some of the boys, the way they behaved away from the girls it was just well unbelievable really so have a look at it and see what you think and um I, i'm not sure i haven't looked but there might be there might be another one for this year i'm not absolutely sure so i'll have to have a look but this was this was filmed in 2020 at the height of the lockdown in australia and um yeah it's really interesting so uh, i hope you've enjoyed this and yeah, tell me what you think, because I've been glued to my screen. So uh, I've been watching it on the catch-up, and um, yeah, it's been really interesting. So I hope you're all enjoying your weekend. Um, I've still got that um, interesting haul to show you from the state, from the um, estate sale, sorry, that I went, um, I didn't go to, I did it online. So it um, be interesting to see what you think. So Take care, everybody. Have a lovely weekend. And let me know what you think of uh, Big Brother Australia. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.